kahawa yao nje. License ya kuuza kahawa wewe ukiwa enti tunaweza kuuza kahawa nje. License your excellency was 1 billion. How many Kenyans, how many coffee farmers even with the what kind of society can afford license of 1 billion to go and sell coffee? So it was restricted to very few. We want to thank your government because since then it's been rectified. But the implementation is still not yet done. We would like that to be implemented so that if the people of Kerenyaga, people of Embu, people of Rakanidi, Meru, and the rest of Kenya want to sell their coffee outside, they can do it in an affordable way. Your Excellency, I want to thank you most sincerely. Because we have consistently, since you were elected, gone around this country in Thanksgiving. Every Sunday and even sometimes in between the week. But you have not only done thanksgiving, you have also been consistently, consistently making a deliberate effort to unite the people of Kenya. Juzi tumekuona ukiwa pande ya nyanza, uniting the people of Kenya. And even to the extent of going to woo the people or being available for the people who would evidently did not vote for you. That is good deliberate effort. That is king, that in king, kingmanship. And we would like you to continue doing that. We want, we want a Kenya that is united. Like as you are doing that, at our katulukuwa na fanya namna iyo, and we have seen very many leaders who have been mudslinging you and talking badly, warming up to your government. We are also seeing another side by their leadership. They are blowing hot and cold. Pande hii, unafanya effort ya kuongea na wale viongozi ambayo lukua mulengo ingine, ndi wakuja kwa serikali tuunde pamoja. Pande ingine viongozi wao nasema sawa tuendeni tukutufanya kazi na serikali Then all of a sudden nasema tafanya maandamana Your Excellency, we are reading in between the lines Because sa ingine we could be focusing the wrong people Atuelewe kwa nini wakati kiongozi wa upinzani ametoka inje Akiwa huko inje na ongea mambo ya hapa Na kuna wengine unakutana hapo wakifanya, wakifanya fununu vile wata sponsor maandamano. Mi I think is a decoy. Kwa sababu, haiwezekani kwamba azimio ilikuwa metengenezwa na mulengo moja wa siyasa. Kuna mulengo ingine ya siyasa ambaye they are within us and we are not looking your excellency. We need to start looking at them. And I want to thank you the deputy president because the other day on Thursday you called the leaders who were elected by Jubilee party who and those who did not make it to try and reconcile them with us, which is a good effort. And we're going to work with them. I was talking to one of them here, and we are saying we need to unite because now the politics are behind us. Lakini, viongozi wao, and I'm falling short of naming them the way Cicely Mbarire governor said, angalia ile mulengo ingine, wachana na kuangalia tinga peke yake. Iko wengine, ambayo tutaki kutaja. Kwa sababu, awa ndi wanachochea, Wanasema, we have not gotten what you want. The way you are heading, we will not get there. And you know what they are looking for. Because there is a, there's a, a tactic in war, Your Excellency, that says, advance while negotiating. They are trying to negotiate with you while they are advancing towards war, which is unnecessary because we are always a we need to read between the lines. What are they looking for? Ukiguza ABC, there is a possibility they don't want the IBC to be formed according to the law. They want to be involved outside the law. We would like you to ignore that, Your Excellency, 